Hello and welcome to a new Maker Log video. It's a new thing I'm doing. Um, basically, it's a video series where I keep track of all my toy design progress and endeavors. And today we are going to take a look at the diorama I made for the uh, Thundermore product photography. So these are just two, three old prototypes and I have been building out of, I think polystrain is the word, um, out of polystrain I, you know, cut some shapes and um, then glued it all black and then um, applied some blue highlights and the, the red and the blue look is also because of these two lights and uh, you know, a blue one and a purple one. This is not drugs. This is, uh, I think, dried moss or um, like seaweed or something. But I used it as, a, you know, a makeshift scenery. And um, yeah, I think that's all there is to say right now. I'm really happy with how this turned out. It's just a few hours of work. Um, cutting this stuff, this poly, polystyrene, styrofoam, styrofoam, yeah, that's the word. It's uh, actually a lot of fun. And the result are, is, is pretty rewarding. I mean, it, I'm not a rockologist, but uh, it looks like rocks. And uh, I'm very happy for that. This is all inspired, of course, on old, um, you know, toy catalogs, which I always had like a uh, real dioramas which make the toy look really awesome I'm gonna try to do that as well um, so yeah this big hurdle of creating a scenery and a nice looking diorama has been taken and victoriously uh, conquered and uh, the next hurdle is like learning how to do actual toy photography like actually working the camera and I don't have a good camera yet so that's gonna be a challenge I'm working on an iPhone right now could be somewhat of a challenge, but uh, we'll see. And tomorrow I'm gonna get two new prototypes in the mail. They look slightly different than the others. Um, you know, these are almost done. So it's just really small changes. Like it's really about the details and other stuff. But uh, yeah, I'm very excited to see them and print them out tomorrow. Maybe I'll make a t make a lock about that as well. And here's a turtle like a Lego minifig for reference. You're, um, it's hard to actually convey how big these toys are, but uh, yeah, you'll just have to buy them, I guess. Well, that was it for now. Um, thanks for watching. I'm gonna do more of these, hopefully, and uh, I'll see you in the future. Bye-bye.